It doesn't matter what time of day it is, Oscar Gordon's bedroom is always pitch black. But not by choice. The people next door built a brick wall right up against his window, blocking out any light, and it's completely legal. <laughs> ah, there's no better way to start the day than with a good old stretch, a dose of vitamin D, and a big breath of fresh air. Wait. What the...? One day I get home from work and I look out the window and there's a giant brick wall completely covering my window. Yep, this is no practical joke. Oscar Gordon's bedroom window has been completely covered up by this brick wall. And here, welcome to my view. What do you think? What? <laughs> yeah, like you can see... Oscar, I have never, ever seen anything remotely like this. Nobody should be living like this, no. Prisoners in their cell get more light than I do in my bedroom. So how on earth did Oscar end up living in this dungeon? Well, it all began about a month ago when the 33-year-old came home one day from work. I looked out at my window and I saw this giant wall and I thought to myself, what the hell? Panicked, Oscar ran next door to talk to the builders. But to his horror, he learnt the owners had a planning approval from Melbourne's Yarra City Council and there was nothing he could do. Over the next few hours, Oscar was forced to watch as his bedroom window was covered up brick by brick. This bedroom is deemed inhabitable. It's almost like a glorified cupboard. Oscar's new wall has attracted a lot of attention on social media. Even celebrities have been weighing in. Fifi Box commented on Instagram, this is outrageous, while Sophie Monk said, orange is the new black, has a better view. I had one person suggest, just put an LCD television there and you know, you can change it, you know, whatever, whether you want. The world's your oyster. You can literally look out to the Eiffel Tower if you wanted to. Or a picture of the sun. <laughs> yeah, or just, you know, the old sun. Just, <laughs> God, imagine that. All jokes aside, though, Oscar says his month in solitary confinement is starting to take a toll. What's it like waking up every morning in this room? I open my eyes and I'm like, oh, yep, ready to go. So, you know, put the gym gear on, um, you know, go out, get ready to make myself a coffee. And I open my bedroom door and realise that it's 2am because I've got no idea of, you know, what sense of time is it's because there's no sunlight to tell me. He can't live like that with what's happening here right now. That needs to be addressed immediately. Dr Zara Chelik is a wellness expert. She's not surprised Oscar's been having some health issues. There is no sunlight, there's no airflow, claustrophobic. Oscar's asked his real estate agent at Hocking Stewart to put in a skylight, but he says the one they've proposed doesn't meet the standards of the building code of Australia. It's been quite frustrating going backwards and forwards and speaking to these agencies and having done all the research, and all I want is a little bit of light. To help Oscar out, we've brought in block foreman Keith. I actually don't even know what to say. He can't believe the wall ever got approved in the first place. Town planners, I can't believe, have just overseen an existing window and a window that has been there for a long time. Yarra City Council says Oscar's window was put in without its permission by previous owners and his next door neighbours have the right to build up to the boundary line. But Keith believes there's still been a planning failure. I've never seen anything like that in Australia and it just doesn't make sense and I think a lot of people are at fault here. So while poor old Oscar waits for a resolution, he's been spending more and more of his time out here. So do you miss this? Yes, absolutely. I find like when I first come outside of my, you know, dungeon bedroom, that I'm sort of like doing these ones because I'm just not used to how light it actually is. And he's taken some desperate measures to make sure he's getting enough vitamin D. And what's this for? Um, I will do anything just to get that little bit of extra light because I am totally stripped of it throughout the whole day in my bedroom. Any way I possibly can. I just need light. You can read the full statements from Yarra City Council and Hocking Stewart real estate agents on our website.